This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Um, just want to do a quick recap of 2022. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, Boxer, Sky Sports, Boxing. He's snapping me. He's snapping me. Um, yeah, look, you've sort of broken out. It's been your first full year with Sky. Um, just a first reflection. Happy, good breakout year? Yeah, um, I think it was a... A hard, rough start because our first our first show, we actually lost top of the bill. Um, we lost Chris Eubank Jr.'s opponent. Um, and it was a it was a horror start. It was baptism of fire. Um but and it was at Wembley, which is hard to sell anyway. Um so it wasn't a the best start, but it was a start. Um and then we slowly picked up some momentum. We was in Newcastle and then we we started to do the round and we quickly had to work out, you know, um, how to do this really properly. Obviously, we had the guidance from Sky, but we're still very new in terms of doing arenas, uh, doing regular shows, getting the output, getting everything right and having super major, big competitors who have been around for 40, 50 years breathing down your neck. Um, but I think we've done well. I think over the season, we, we kept picking up fighters. We picked up the some of the, the, the Olympians, um, some of the fighters are out of contract, people swapping over, moving from place to place. And I think over the year, we we gradually built up the trust um, and people decided, no, we actually, you know, we 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 like what they're doing over there. Um, it's a young team, it's a small team, um, but it's a, it's a hungry team, you know, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a hard, very hard work and a hungry team. So everyone's putting the, in the same direction. I think the year... Our, our hero for the year, if you ask me, has been Natasha Jonas. Mm. You know what? Like that's that is the 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 story for boxer right now. I think um, looked like she was potentially going to retire with no world titles, and then boom, you know, in twelve months she picks up three in the ring magazine. It's crazy. So um, yeah, I think in that respect we've 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 done we've done some good work. Um. I want to. You mentioned signing, and I've been like going through with like a list of questions, sort of moment of the year, all this and all that. But boxer have made some incredible signings this year, and I think, like you say, to come out your show, you have to sort of maybe overpay a little bit, put your feet on the ground, mark yourself, and um, so let me ask you, signing of the year. I feel like I know your answer. My one. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a tough one to say for me. If you're asking, Benzo, surely. it's going to be Benzo yeah. for me. Um, but can you say can you say your reasoning why? Yes. Because I, I this is what I've found interesting yeah. speaking about because yeah. I think it makes sense. So for me, I mean, everyone wanted all the Olympians. Let's be honest; like they they were being courted by absolutely everybody. Um, we courted Benzo, and then it looked like he was going to go the other way, and I was just like, ah, you know, like. I thought that was the one that could really polarize people. You know, I think you can be um, you can be a star, people loving you and all of that. But I think when you're able to rub people up the wrong way and have people wanting you to lose before you even laced up gloves as a professional, yeah, that is worth a lot. Um, and I think he is not scared to be the villain. We've seen how he is before he's even laced uh, laced up gloves. He's pissing people off. Yeah, the presser in Saudi. Yeah, like the presser in Saudi said it needed me. He is not scared to be that guy. It comes with, with huge responsibility because you have to either... Back it up. You have to back it up or you have to deal with the the inevitable criticism that's going to come after a bad performance. Um, but someone's got to do it. And I I personally do like it. I know it's a, gen- a gentleman's sport and I know that it's, you know, it's meant to... In a perfect world, you'd you'd fight, and you know you'd shake hands. You'd never say anything untoward and all of that. But let's be honest, this is a business, yeah. um, and you can talk your your way into big fights, big money, and world titles if you're brave enough to do it. I've seen a lot of fighters just go the honest route, and that route has taken a long, long time. Um, it's not for everyone. It's very American. It's very brash. It is. Um, but I personally like it. And even if you don't like it, I like that. I like the fact that you don't like it. Yeah. So that was why, honestly, I I, I really pushed to to, <laughs> not, to not lose that because I it looked at, at points like um, 
he was going to go the other way or go to another promoter or go elsewhere. Uh, and I kept saying to Ben, Ben, no, 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 no. Not that one. Make sure you get Whitaker. Make sure. Um, Just on, I suppose, getting Whitaker and the broadcasting giant that is Sky, when a lot of people saw... Eddie go over to the zone with Matchroom. People wondered whether Sky will stay in boxing. With how powerful and prominent your year has been, do you think it's shown just how powerful Sky is and that, that you can't really defeat? I know obviously boxers played their part, but also like with a broadcaster that big, if they're going to stay committed and stay involved, then you can't knock them down that quickly. No, exactly, you can't. Um, I think it's natural to, to over time believe that you are doing all the good work and it's not necessarily the machine that's behind you. Um, you can't... I don't even know where you where you begin to, to to measure how much that crossover audience is worth, knowing that you can watch a Merseyside derby and at half-time... You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get the crossover, you get the football fans, you get every other fan and you get them interested. And, and you know, you've got so many eyes on Sky Sports... Um, that I just think is, is is such a vital part of it. You know, obviously we've got to do what we got to do. We got to make the fights. We have got to sign the fights. We have got to do all of that. But having the ability to 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 get that face, the the image, the profile to to millions of people in the UK and uh, and, and Europe or around the world or whatever it is, it is um it, it shows the power of Sky, of course. I'm just gonna rattle through the rest of them now because I am itching for this FIFA game. Um. Your moment of the year on, on Boxer Shores? Um, it's been a couple. Uh, a close one would be the Shields Marshall uh, fight. I thought that was a ridiculously good build, a great build up. I like it when there's real animosity in a fight. You know, I like respect, of course, but I think it's more entertaining when you've got two people who genuinely don't really love each other and it shows. Um, and for that reason, my, my fight of the year, my night of the year will be Calm Brook. Uh, MEN our first pay-per-view our only pay-per-view to, to date yeah. actually um, but I just remember that the, the the tickets flying me in fact me Ben Shalom and Ben Whitaker were on the flight to New York when that fight when, when that the tickets went live and I'm on the internet trying to like just see like, just to buy, I'm trying to buy a ticket basically oh. just to see can, what they, and yeah. it was gone and they were gone in six minutes um so that was a um that that was that was the big one I think I think that kicked off our um that really kicked off our our year and in, in you know I think boxer had to kind of fight for that because I'm not sure people a lot of people when we first announced it people thought that fight was nah we don't want to see that anymore yeah. by the time it came around no everyone wants to see it the numbers show everyone wants to see it so um that will be yeah my fight of the year my night it's almost hard to believe that was this year now the way everything's moved um KO of the year on, on a boxer show oh um who's got the best stoppage do you know what it's going to be a strange one because I don't think it's a violent knockout but it is react pause against turkey I like the way he whipped the uppercut almost to miss it yeah. into the guard and he chopped down uh, with, with the, the left of the body, kind of just tore him across the body and you could just see it was over from there. Um, I'll go with that. There's been loads, but I'm going to go with that. Um, just finally for me on the sort of uh, yearly wrap-up, uh, sort of not so much show of the year, but card of the year, one where you sort of went into it and you thought, oh, this is like a... I, f I feel like maybe... If I were to pick for you guys, maybe Shields Marshall, just because it was like yeah. the fact that you you had that sort of Baumgartner Meyer fight on the undercard yeah. and just I'd agree. I think it would be that one. I think the fact that that was free to wear, um, the fact that it was an all women's card, we that we were brave to have to do it. Yeah. Um, and it the fact off. that the fact it got knocked back, we made it to the weigh in, and then it got cancelled because of the Queen's death, and then we had to go again. Um, and it, and you know like that that kind of messed the fighters up a little bit because you you aim to peak there and then you got to re peak, um, but yeah I think um, the effort that everyone went to to make that one I think that was that was our best card definitely.
Well, Dan, top man, thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Um, sure, the viewers watching this, it will be around Christmas time, New Year, so happy New Year to everyone. Just a final message, I imagine, looking forward to a big 2023. Yeah, a big 2023. Everyone have a good Christmas, um, a good New Year. Stay safe. Don't eat too much. Everyone get back in camp. January 1st, we've all got to be back in the gym. Everyone. We've got to do it, my guy.